Welcome, cooks, to the last What's Up Wednesday for 2021. Every year, it's sort of a tradition that I count down my top 10 gadgets for the year. So 2021 has been a big year of transition for us at Amy Learns to Cook. I'm really excited for what 2022 is going to bring. Um, 2021, I got to play with a lot of great new kitchen gadgets, and um, I'm excited to let you know which ones I thought were the best. So join me. It's Wednesday. Let's talk about my top 10 kitchen gadgets for 2021. <music> So like I said, a lot of things have happened in the year 2021 for both of us. Um, as you can see, we are in a new kitchen. We are in a new house. We have all new camera equipment that we've had to adjust and learn how to use. And now we're going to embark on a big project for 2022. We're going to be building a studio kitchen down in the basement. So we're going to be doing a 2021 debrief or look at what happened this year during our live stream on New Year's Eve. So if you're just hanging around the house, you don't have anything else to do, right? Come and join us on uh, the channel because we're going to be going live on December 31st at 10 p.m. Eastern time. We're going to be kicking off, counting down 2022, and we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to be doing a wine tasting. We're going to be making some banana splits. We're going to be talking about the gadgets, the changes, everything, and the gadgets you loved in 2021. So come join us on the live stream. I'll put links to that down in the description. So, for my list of top gadgets for 2021. So my list is not scientific in any way, shape or form. It's pretty much the gadgets that I found most useful, most healthful, those ones that I've used the most, that I've enjoyed the most uh, uh, using during the year. So your list is going to be completely different from my list. This is just sort of a fun way to rehash what we've played with over the uh over the year and what we're going to be using into the next year so my top 10 list of gadgets for 2021 my very first gadget is ding my seville classics stainless steel racks now if you've been with me for a while, you've known that I built my pan room around those racks from Seville Classics. They are six tier shelving units made out of stainless steel, and they are my favorite thing for pantries, for pan room, for garage, for any kind of storage that you have. Basements. Basements, right, pan room twos. Um, they are fantastic. They're right around a hundred dollars a shelf. They're really easy to put together. And, um, this is how it looks in the new pan room. So I filled the pan room full of these racks and I have been using them for years and they are great. The old ones we brought over from the old house. We bought a whole bunch of new ones for the pan room downstairs. I've used plastic racks. I've used stack and stuff. And these are the way that I can get organized. I love these racks. They help me build my pan room the first time and they help me build my pan room the second time. So the number 10 item for my gadgets of the year is the Seville Classics stainless steel racks. Number nine on my list is my Kohler kitchen faucet. Now you're going to say a kitchen faucet. How is that a kitchen gadget? It's a kitchen gadget to me because it's one of those things that I use every single day over and over and over again. And I never thought that I would like be in love with the kitchen faucet, 
But we added this kitchen faucet this year to the new kitchen. It's the Collier and it is amazing. I love it. It sprays down the counter really easy. I can grab the um, thing and just shh and spray out the, uh, spray out that sink. And I love this thing. It's a sort of a commercial style made for residential with spring on the top. And, um, this thing is great. I love it. So if you're thinking about changing out your faucet, I'll put a link down in the description, but I love that faucet. It's the Collier, um, and it's a spring style, uh, pull down faucet and it's awesome. Number eight is the Hamilton beach indoor electric searing grill. So we did a video on this a while back. And when I first uh, heard about this grill, I was like, okay, another indoor electric grill, right? There's a ton of them out there. I love this thing. We use it all the time. I come home from work. I open this grill up. I slap on, um, some meat, some vegetables. We cook some rice in the rice cooker and we have dinner. This thing is great. I love it. It has a drip tray down below. It has a window here so you can see what's going on. You lift it up. Here's your, uh, your grill. And when you want to go to clean it, you just take the grill out. You put this in the dishwasher. You put this in the dishwasher. Whoop. And this one, the lid, you can't put in the dishwasher because of the window, but they have a version that doesn't have a window. I'll put the link, uh, that link in the description. And I just hand washed this, but on that one, you can put this right into the dishwasher. So put it together, just put that back in here, throw your grill in here and you're ready to go once again. So this is the Hamilton Beach indoor searing grill. Number seven is my Rubbermaid Freshworks lettuce keeper. So I did a video this year on how I prep my lettuce for the week from a, for my work week. And two of the tools, well, three of the tools that I use is my lettuce knife, my OXO salad spinner, and I use these to store the lettuce. These are awesome. I put my lettuce in here and I have fresh lettuce all week long. Um, so these have little sort of bumps on the bottom to keep your lettuce off any moisture in here. Um, these are great. They have a little um, vent here. Um, I use these every single week. So if you're talking about a gadget that like has made my life easier, has made my food better, has made prepping my lunches for work easier. That is this right here. It is the Rubbermaid Freshworks Lettuce Keeper. This thing is fantastic. I used it a ton in 2021 and I will continue to use it into 2022. That is number seven. So number six, you know it's gonna be in here somewhere. It's my Mise and frying pan. I love this pan. Um, I used it recently when we did some Greek honey donuts and this pan is fantastic. It works on induction. It works on regular cooktop. It is probably the best nonstick that I've ever used. Um, we did a full test and review on this pan. I'll put a link down in the description to it. It's great. I love it. I use it constantly on my list of top frying pans. It's up there on the top of the list. So my number six pick for 2021 is my Mison frying pan. So number five is my over the door pantry organizer. So I had these in the other house and I brought them along here. I actually bought two more. Um, these make my life so much easier. It allows me to organize my um, pantry. I got spices in this one. Oh, that's the rest of my pantry. This is my spice cabinet. <laughs> this one I haven't quite filled up yet, but I'm working on it. Um, I love these things. Ooh, there's my salt and pepper shaker that I've been looking for. Um, my pantry is still in 
a work in progress here in the new house, but um, I love these things. So number five is my over the door organizer. So number four is my Deco Brothers can racks. I love these things. I had them in the old pantry. It is a great way to get your cans organized. My pantry would be lost without these. So I have four of these racks in here and I have two more in this pantry. I actually have one that's still in a box that's gonna be going in on the other side. These are great. If you wanna get your pantry together, get these, they're awesome. So my number three pick for 2021 is my Bear Dough Machine. So when this came, when this was dropped on the scene, I was surprised. When I saw it on Amazon, I was like, no way that's gonna be any good, right? I um, always have used my bread machine as a dough machine. I rarely bake on bake in it. The only reason, the only thing I really make heated in it is when I make jam. I always use it as a dough machine. So I was always thinking, why don't they just make a bread machine that's just a dough machine and doesn't bake anything, right? And then bam, here's the bear, right? When I saw this, I was like, I was thinking, oh, this is really basically going to be only good for dumpling dough. I've made double batches of my bread machine dinner rolls in this and it handled it like a champ. This thing is amazing. It has a big, huge dough hook. It has a big, huge bowl. And this thing needs proofs. It's ready for shaping, uh, rising and in the oven. I love this thing. I use it all the time and it's never failed me. I have had great results with this. So this is the bare dough machine. Number two on my top gadgets for 2021 is my USA pan. They call this the mini cake and cinnamon roll pan. I call this my burger bun pan. This is perfect for making hamburger buns. I put some dough into each one. I let it rise, I bake it off, and it makes the perfect size burger buns. Um, I love this pan. I use it constantly. I even like, I just use them for little sandwich loaves. I use them for everything. I got this pan um, maybe two years ago, but in 2021, I used it all the time. I love this thing. Um, you can even make little uh, quiches in here, little breakfast egg things. You can use this for all kinds of stuff. So this is my burger bun pan. It is the USA pan, mini cake and cinnamon roll pan. And this is my number two, number two pick for 2021. The moment we've all been waiting for. The 2021 Amy Learns to Cook Gadget of the Year is the your Royal Highness Moving Service. It's the Famig Spiral Stand Mixer. Yay! So this is my top pick for 2021. This mixer is unbelievable. I love it. It is an expensive stand mixer, but if you're looking to really take your dough making to another level, to um, a level that you've never been to before in a residential stand mixer, even a commercial stand mixer. Um, this is a spiral stand mixer. It is the eight is the model, eight S, and it is 11.5 quarts. This baby can handle 20 pounds of dough. And they say it can handle one and a half pounds of dough, which I haven't done yet. One and a half pounds? Yeah, that's what it says. Um, but it's, it, made, it's made for eight kilos. Yeah, it's made for, um, it's made for dough making, right? So a spiral mixer has a different kind of action than a regular type of mixer. This has a spiral dough hook and it does this, right? And it basically creates a giant pumpkin in there of dough. It's a pumpkin of dough, right? It's a pumpkin shaped dough. It's actually a tilt head mixer. You have two little things here that you undo, and then you can raise the mixer head. Has shock absorbers. Has shock absorbers. This is your dough hook, and the dough hook is doesn't come off of there, so you have to clean the dough hook. 
but the bow comes off. You need a helper for this. <laughs> That's your bowl in there. Um, the dough hook does stay stationary on it. You just got to clean it off onto here. Um, but this thing is amazing. So this mixer came into my life. Thank you, Santa. And my bread baking experience has never been the same. So the 2021 Amy Learns to Cook Gadget of the Year is the Fameg Spiral Stand Mixer. Yay! So that is my list of gadgets of the year. This has been a great year for gadgets, but it's also been a challenging year for us due to the move, due to a lot of changes. Um, I'm excited about what's ahead uh, for 2022. Don't forget to join me on our live stream on New Year's Eve. We're going live December 31st, 10 p.m. Eastern time. We will be live right here on Amy, the Amy Learns Cook channel for our traditional uh, New Year's Eve celebration. We're gonna be kicking off 2022 in a big way. Yay! I love this mixer. So what's up, it's Wednesday. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for all your support this year and happy new year.